every footballer wants a graceful exit from their club, especially after having served there for years and attaining or nearly attaining legendary status. But unfortunately, not everybody gets that chance. Some players are pretty much forced to leave the club in an embarrassing manner. Here are 10 footballers who left their clubs in disgrace. Number 1. João Cancelo Zhao is probably the most recent entry on the list today. At the beginning of the season, Cancelo was the last person anyone would have expected to leave the club mid-season. He's been one of the most important players for City over the last few years and was even handed the number 7 jersey last year, which is huge considering he's a fullback. Cancelo used to be one of the first names on the City team sheet back then, but this season he started seeing less and less game time with the much younger Rico Lewis being preferred to him in the starting lineup. This went on and on and Cancelo pretty much became a second team player. Then boom! In the January transfer window we hear that Cancelo wants out and City don't even want to try and stop him. Before we could even say Jack Robinson, Cancelo's loan deal to Bayern was complete and there's an option for them to buy him too so he's not coming back. It's definitely not how we expected João Cancelo to leave City, he was pretty much forced out. Anyway, let's now cross over to the other side of Manchester. Number 2. Cristiano Ronaldo We're all aware of how Ronaldo left United the second time around, it was not pretty at all. In retrospect, it had been much better off staying at Juventus to be honest. It all started when the new manager began to relegate him to the bench from the third game of the season. At first it was just the media being really fixated on it but then Ronaldo himself got very involved in the drama when he walked out before the end of the game against Spurs. That show of indiscipline led to Ronaldo being suspended for the next game against Chelsea. We saw a young coach really disciplining the GOAT and what made it all worse for CR7 was that the team seemed to be doing much better without him. At that point we all just knew that Ronaldo's days at United were numbered, we just didn't know how he was going to get out. Then boom, when clubs went on their break before the World Cup, it happened. Ronaldo did an interview with Piers Morgan and said all sorts of stuff about United, the current manager, the former manager, the owners, everybody got slammed. If you watched that interview, you'd have known that that was going to be the end and it didn't even take long before his contract was terminated and he left. Number 3. Lukaku Lukaku became the most expensive footballer of all time as per combined transfer fees after his return move to Chelsea was finalised in 2021. But that move, which was highly anticipated, turned out to be one of the big transfer fails in recent years. The Belgian was in awful form for Chelsea and on top of that, he didn't exactly see eye to eye with the coach. Oh, and while he was in England, an interview of him declaring his eternal love for Inter Milan surfaced and that didn't do him much good at all. So with all this having happened, the club really didn't care that they'd spent crazy amounts of cash on him, they simply counted their losses and sent him back to Inter where he came from. Number 4. Aubameyang Aubameyang was Arsenal's captain shortly before he left the club. He had led them to an FA Cup win, won the Premier League Golden Boot with them and was generally one of the most important players at the club. So to leave in the manner he left was just a shame. It started with a little punishment for indiscipline, then he was stripped of the captaincy, then he was completely sidelined. It then all ended with his contract being torn up and him being sent out of the club mid-season. Number 5. Trossard Trossard moving from Brighton to Arsenal is definitely an upgrade, but the manner in which he left his former club wasn't the most honourable. Everybody knew how good the Belgian was for Brighton, but after the World Cup, he had a falling out with the coach who would then neither play him or even talk to him in training. Trossard quickly went from being one of Brighton's major sources of goals to being a nobody at the club and it must have stung a little bit extra because he was replaced so quickly like he was never there in the first place. Anyway, at least he got an upgrade and might even win the league this season. That must serve as a consolation for how he left Brighton. But hey, enough of these recent guys, let's throw things back a little shall we? Number 6. Figo Figo's move from Barcelona to Real Madrid in 2000 was heavily controversial and political. Basically, his leaving Barcelona was not at all in his own hands, but the Barca fans didn't care one bit. He was a traitor and the most hated man in Catalonia that year. All you need to know about the move was encompassed in the first return to the Camp Nou. He was booed non-stop, called a Judas and a traitor, but worst of all, a pig's head was thrown at him on the pitch. Those were some absolutely insane scenes at the Camp Nou that day. Number 7. Emmanuel Adebayor 
Remember Adebayor's infamous celebration after scoring for Man City against Arsenal? He did that because of how he left Arsenal in 2009. He claimed that he was forced out of the club by Arsene Wenger. In addition to that celebration, he also allegedly slapped Alex Song's face and tried to stamp on Fabregas in the same game. That's surely not the best of exits. Number 8. Balotelli Balotelli didn't leave Man City on the best of terms. First of all, the manager Mancini had complained about his attitude over and over during his time at City. And then, prior to the time he left, he was fined two weeks' wages and then took the club to the Premier League tribunal over that. Balotelli had also fallen out with a lot of his teammates at the time, and he missed 11 games that season because of suspensions. He was just a liability, so they left him to return to Italy mid-season. Number 9. Dimitri Payet Payet's one true love has always been Marseille. He had to leave and move to the Premier League when the club was in a financial bind, but the moment they could afford to bring him back, he decided he was going to go back by any means possible. In January 2017, Payet said he no longer wanted to play for West Ham, and in the next game after that announcement was made by the coach, his mural at the London Stadium had to be guarded to prevent it from being destroyed by fans. When Marseille came knocking, West Ham didn't want to let him go. They wanted him to apologise to the fans and stay at the club, but we all knew that was never going to happen. Later that month, West Ham eventually came around and Payet moved back to Marseille for a club record fee. His mural was swiftly removed the following day. Number 10. Diego Costa You guys remember how Costa left Chelsea, right? Conte straight up told him he wasn't part of his plans and the crazy thing was that he didn't even give him the honour of breaking that news to him face to face, he did it over a text message. He went on to not include the Spanish striker in the Premier League and Champions League squads and he was also not allowed to train with the first team. On top of that, the club was still demanding a high fee from his suitors which led Costa to say that he was being treated like a criminal by Chelsea. Anyway, which one of these guys will you say left in the worst possible manner? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.